Hey you, it's Emily here. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a bench seat cushion cover. I've made two of these in the past, but I have actually never shared it with you all. So thank you for motivating me to do that. You all love the last sewing video I did a few months ago on the um, pillow covers in the back. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to share this with you. It's something I needed to get done. And thank you for being a good motivation for me to actually get this done. I'm working on this area in the office and I wanted to change out the cushion cover because it's just not my style anymore and I found this fabric after decluttering the office the other day and I was like oh this will look beautiful in here and I actually might use some of the fabric to make more throw pillows with because I love it but I want to find some uh, trim for around it I think I'm not sure on that yet but if I make them I promise you I will share them with you but uh, yeah that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today hopefully you will find it helpful and hopefully I explain it correctly if I do be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here I hope that you hit the subscribe button I share lots of DIYs decorating lifestyle and cleaning videos here and um, it's just a place for you to come and get inspired and motivated for whatever you have going on in your day and I hope that you will find that with today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the sewing machine. So I got this big block of material at a closeout sale about a year ago and I've been saving it for the boys' tent but I decided to use part of it for this cushion. It's a creamy uh, white with a blue and uh, gray tone to the stripes. You're going to want some Velcro. You can get this up anywhere. Walmart has it for super cheap. I'm using white. They do have black if you want it. And then um, you can use a zipper instead and some scissors and you'll want some needles and obviously a sewing machine of your choice. I have this foam block here. It's about a two inch thickness. I've had it for a few years. It's had another cover on this and I didn't like the coloring of it anymore. So the way I measure this is I leave about three or four inches on each side and then I will flip that block over and make sure the other side has the same amount because that is where we're gonna be putting our seal. You could put the seal on the sides if you wanted to. It's completely up to you, um, but I'm just gonna show you how I make mine. So after I fold it over the pad, then I will take the side and kind of push it in, kind of like you're wrapping a present and just pinch it. You could do this the opposite way, but I like the way this looks on the outside. And then just take your needle and pin that, and that'll be your guide at where you need to start uh, sewing um, your cover for. And then I will just go all the way down the side until I reach the end of it. Once I reach the end, then I will go ahead and mark my corner just so I know. I'm not going to sew all the way to that corner, but just so I know exactly where I need to stop. And then here I like to um, basically fold it over and then show where it's going to reach itself. And because it's about a two inch block, what I like to do for this, you can do the same thing for a zipper, but I'll just go all the way down and um, pin that so that way it reaches all the way to the floor. Hopefully that's making sense. Um, it's just it's overlapping the lip of the cushion and I'm doing that because then the bottom part will fold up and over so once I get to the end I will go ahead and pin that again so that way I know where I'm at and then I did the same thing so you can see here as I what I'll do is I'll take the velcro and put this in various spots down this side and that is how we will close it and then you can take your um, cover off and wash it so I'm starting with the straight strip first. Now I'm only doing one side. I'm not um, sewing this together here. I'm just sewing the lip over onto itself first. And so once you go forward, I like to go backwards, make sure that um, my uh, sewing is you know, locked in. I'm, this isn't a sewing 101, but it's just how to make the cover, how I do it. I'm not a pro at this whatsoever. So um, if you have critiques, I'm sorry. Like I'm, this is just how I sew and hopefully it'll be easy enough for you guys to understand. So now that I have that, then I will go ahead and flip it over to the other side and go ahead and basically sew the hem on that side, even though it's not a hem. Now that the long lips are done now, I'm going to take that part that we pleated basically on the inner part like a present and I have lines so I'm just following one of the lines where my needle was and then I will begin to go forward and then back and then I'll go back forward and you can take your needles out as you go however you, you know, do your sewing, you do you. And once I will get closer to the end, I'm not going to sew all the way down because I'm going to do an, uh, another adjustment once the and put the cover on the cushion part just to make sure it's good and we want that overlap anyway. So you can see I left about two inches here. 
Now I'm repeating the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going all the way down. And you can see my little helper's hands over there. Both of them are being quite helpful putting the needles away for me. And again, I'm leaving about a two inch gap here just so that I have my um, overlap. Once you cut everything up, then here I'm just doing a dry fitting on my um, cushion and you can see how it overlaps. If you don't like the look of it poking out, you could fold it the other way and you would get the exact opposite effect. So here I'm folding over and under does that make sense? So in and over, kind of like a, kind of like you're wrapping a present. And once I have that, then I will go ahead and pin that. And this is where you can get creative. If you don't like this style that I'm doing, you can do it a different way. And here I'm pinning it where I want to have my Velcro be. And that way it will snap here on the side, kind of like a snap. You could do buttons or a zipper. It's completely up to you. And now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Basically fold it down and over like you are a present. So it has a nice pleat in it and it's going to hold there and hold its shape well. So pin that and that will be your guide of where you need to pin, um, sew that. And then again I'm just going to add a pin here and that will be where I want my Velcro to be on the opposite end. And now I'm going to add it. So here you can see I'm pulling and tucking it very nice and taut. And then I will go ahead and mark certain areas that I want my Velcro to be. If you have a full Velcro strip, you can completely add it to the whole entire side. I do not, I'm just using what I had left over. So I'm going to add it in five different spots, one on each end and then three on the inner part. And this will hold just fine. Even with the little kids, it holds up well and it's easy to, you know, take off and wash if you need to. So here I'm just taking my strip and I'm just cutting them kind of even here. Um, if you have more, you can make them bigger. Again, I'm just using what I had left over. And so I'm gonna first sew the pleat part in the corner. So that way our corners are sealed. And I'm just gonna go back and forth there a few times since it is a corner. And for the top cover, I wanted it to be slightly pushed in. So again, I have my needle there. I'm just going to seal that really quick. That way it's tapered in on the side, just a bit at an angle, kind of like a triangle shape there. And then I will go ahead and take my Velcro now. And I, you will see that I'm adding that to certain spots here. And I'm doing a zigzag motion, making like a basically a Z on it, starting on one end, going down, and then going back and forth. And that seals it on there, so you can see that. You can do whatever you want. If you just want to do a complete square, you can. And so see, I'm just confirming where I had my mark with my needle, and then I will go ahead and take that needle out and then sew that on. And you're gonna repeat that for all the other pieces of Velcro that you have down the line. This is a fairly easy cushion cover. I like to make all of my cushion covers, if I can, removable. That way if my style changes, all I have to do is take it off, especially if you have little kids like I do. Washing it is very necessary. And this is gonna be in our mud room, so it's probably going to be a bit dirty. And so here you can see that I'm just putting it in there and it kind of seals just um, like a present here just uh, wrapping it and everything and I really like the way this turned out hopefully I didn't explain it too confusingly and whatnot but if you enjoyed this video I do hope that you give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already I hope you become part of my family hit the subscribe button I hope you all have a beautiful day thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one Oh my goodness you guys this video almost did not go up this week i have been so busy decluttering and redecorating the house and then i started potty training my youngest and let me tell you i forgot how much work potty training is i don't have time for anything i'm barely like he's sleeping right now this is the only piece i have to like watch him like a hawk to make sure that we use the potty like every 10 15 minutes it's just it's really draining but i was like there's no way i'm not going to post a diy video on the weekend because i have been doing that i think for the last year and a half and i'm like i am not going to miss that like i am keeping this streak going i absolutely love sharing diys with you and i like doing them more on the weekend i think it's just fun it's kind of like a way for me to kind of relax and it also allows me to be 
creative and share with you other you know things throughout the rest of the week so yeah I'm just I'm so happy I'm able to film this and get this video up for you all because there is no way I'm letting you down like you guys inspire me to do better and um, be better and everything and I really do appreciate that so with that I hope you all have a beautiful day and I hope that I explained the tutorial correctly and you weren't totally confused by it um, I'm praying that you're not totally confused by it <laughs> but yeah I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon